With more than nine vocal presets here in GarageBand iOS, it can be challenging to sculpt that perfect vocal sound. So in this video, I'm going to go through all of them and let you know what options you have. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome back to another GarageBand 5-Minute Tip. If you'd like to learn a heap more about creating, recording, and releasing your best music in GarageBand, check the other videos in the description. Here's one I prepared earlier. This is the vocals for my song 6 and 8, and you can see I've already used the Radio Ready preset, and I have some echo and some reverb. And it sounds like this. Mother told me, son, you'd better dance. So you can hear and see that I've got the compressor up fairly high. I've got a bit of pitch control, which is auto-tune, some ambience and some delay, and some echo and reverb here. If you go to the plugins and EQ, you can see a more detailed view, and I've even got a little EQ on there as well. But let's go back to clean audio and then show you some of the options if you were starting from scratch. To get to clean audio, we tap on the microphone option. You want to go to fun and then clean, and that's going to reset everything, including your master effects. So let's listen to this audio as a clean audio track. Mother told me. Very flat. Let's now tap on clean, go to vocals and select our first effect, which is the lead vocals. This one has some tone control, pitch control, compression, drive, vocal hall, but doesn't add any echo or reverb. Out of the box, it sounds like this. Mother told me. So you can hear there, you've got a little bit of light reverb there, a little compression there, but we don't have any auto-tune or tone control on there at the moment. If we turn that one up, we can start getting some auto-tune effects. Son, you'd better dance. Is that right for this sort of song? Probably not, but you have it there if you want to use it. Our next preset is Radio Ready, and this is actually my preferred preset. It comes with a little bit of pitch control already, some compression, ambience, and delay, and this one sounds like this. While you've got the chance and have the talent. So you can hear with that compression, it's a little more upfront and present. If you want even more presence, try the punchy presence. This time we're going to have some EQ settings here, some compression, and some ambience. You've also got the option for some delay, out of the box, it sounds like this. But I would rather. And this one sounds great if your vocals are a little flat or weak and you really need them to punch through the rest of your mix. Let's bring in the other track so you can hear what I mean. Told me, son, you'd better dance. Next up is the sweet chorus, and we're starting to get into the more affected sounds here. This time you've got a chorus sound on your vocal, as well as some other options. It sounds like this. Mother told me. Is that right for this sort of track? Probably not, but if you're working on some new wave or something where you need some chorus sound, you can add the sweet chorus. Next up is the pop overdrive, which is quite a popular one as well. That sounds like this. Mother told me, son, you'd... And this one includes the overdrive here, which you can adjust even more over here in the settings. Now, the reason that this is cool is if you're doing a rock song where you need a little bit of grit to your vocals, adding the pop overdrive with that overdrive sound can really help. You sometimes don't want quite as much though, so it's worthwhile playing with this setting and maybe dropping it down a little bit. While you've got the chance. If you like the idea of distortion but want a whole lot more, check out the heavy distortion. Is that going to work for this particular track? Probably not, but let's take a listen. Standing in line and we're making the most of each rhyme. So yeah, not exactly what we'd want for this track because it's using a stomp box and it's using quite high compression to really crush the sound. But if you want that effect in, say, a rock or a rap or a heavy metal song, heavy distortion can help. Next up is extreme stereo which is exactly what it sounds like it creates a stereo effect on your vocal and sounds like this standing in line and we're making the most of each rhyme you can see this time you've got the ring shifter the stereo delay and some other effects on here as well as quite a bit of compression you can change up and thicken the tone by changing these settings here as well next up we have the extra singer that one sounds like this mother told me which is a little bit of a different sound because it's adding a second singer using the vocal transformer and you can adjust the pitch and the format of that second singer. So say you wanted the singer to be an octave up instead of down, you could do that too. And finally, we have narrator, which is great for your spoken word because all we've really got here is some compression and some EQ. So if you want something a little closer to clean and flat sound, this is what you want to use. Mother told 
Fool me. A couple of final tips here. We can, of course, edit and remove some of these effects. So if you didn't say what the effect DQ or the enhanced tuning, you can remove those. You can also add in additional echo and reverb using the master effects, which can really help sculpt your tone. Mother told me, son, you'd better dance. And of course, we have a heap of other videos linked in the description showing you how to use plugins, EQs, and effects here in GarageBand. I hope you found this one useful, and I'll see you next time.